end of the day, we're at this state of evolution in Canada and in Niagara where there are, if you happen to be a Chardonnay lover, you've got a lot of choices of great Chardonnay in Niagara. Um, they're all a little different, one from the other. So maybe there's enough there to make the decision based purely on the specific style you're after. But at the end of the day, you know, what is a winery doing in addition to making one of the best Chardonnays or one of the best Rieslings or one of the best Pinot Noirs or Gamay Noirs in the region? What are they doing so that you not only enjoy their wine, but you remember the, the, the place and you remember where you bought it and you remember the story attached to it and the experience you had when you bought the wine. And, and it, it has to go beyond what's in the glass. It has to be, go beyond what's in the bottle. That has now become the sort of new starting point. 30 years ago, if you made great wine in Niagara, you might have been one of very few, and so it was pretty easy to know who to buy the wine from, right? There were only a, a small number of wineries who were making really, really world-class Vitis vinifera, grape varieties like the Cabernet Sauvignons and the Chardonnays and the Rieslings. Now, everybody's doing it. So what are you doing to make sure that your consumer wants your wine and nobody else's? Um, and that's the experience. And 13th Street has a, has a unique advantage of having such a unique facility and such uh, wonderful owners and such a great team that the, the experience that we create is very honest and it's very authentic. It's, it's who we are, it's what we are. It wasn't manufactured out of nothing. It, it, you know, the Witte family who are owners, part owners of the winery, have been farming for more than 100 years in Niagara. They are Niagara through and through. They have Niagara in their blood. They have farming in their blood. They have that community feel in their blood. And so part of the experience is that real feeling of you part of a family when you come to 13th Street. You feel so welcome. And Doug, one of the owners, might just be on a tractor, probably filthy head to toe because he's been out in the field. But he'll stop the tractor, he'll get off of it, and he'll walk straight over to the next car that pulls into his parking lot and welcome them. And encourage them to go in and experience 13th Street because it's what he does. He's living and breathing his business. He's there every day, you know. John and June Mann, same thing, owners of the winery, part owns the winery. John is, on Saturday morning, the first person you're probably to encounter when you come to the winery, if you arrive three hours before we open, is John in his garden, in his herb garden, removing weeds and putting in new plants and trimming his red currants. Uh, he'll be the one mowing the lawn before we get a special event in the evenings. These guys, you know, are very successful business people and they could very easily be doing something else like golfing in Florida or working from their offices somewhere else. They choose to be at 13th Street because they know that part of the experience is, is that people connection. And then beyond that, of course, we've got the art on the walls, we've got the sculpture in the gardens, um, we've got the, the whole farm, non-great farm side of the experience. So you come up and you see greenhouses, and you wonder, they're not growing wines in greenhouses, are they? No, but we've got eight varieties of heirloom tomatoes in this greenhouse, and when heirloom tomato season comes along, it's right at your doorstep. There's your bottle of Gamay, and there's your pint of heirloom tomatoes. You're gonna buy a little bit of cheese and make a beautiful salad for dinner that evening, and there's the sort of full expression of the land. There's the whole, com the complete Niagara experience right at your doorstep in one place, at one stop. Um, you know, blackberries. We encourage people to park behind the blackberry greenhouse, so they're forced to walk through the blackberry greenhouse. Blackberries on both sides of them sort of brushing up against their face as they walk to the winery. It just sets the tone and it's part of the memory. I mean, it's really easy for that visitor from Ohio to go to a winery, park on the asphalt parking lot, walk into the front door, have a wonderful tasting experience, buy their wine, get back in their car and leave. Are they likely to remember that experience the same way as if they park their car, smell, you know, whatever's growing on the walk from the parking lot to and then have all of the bakery items wafting into their nose because we're baking fresh butter tarts or we're doing flatbread pizzas or we're grilling panini for somebody who's staying for lunch, etc. I mean, they've been inundated with an experience before they even get to the winery, before they even set foot inside the tasting bar and then hopefully they taste the best Gamay they've had in Niagara, they taste world-class Chardonnay and Riesling, they taste, you know, industry sort of benchmark traditional method sparkling wines, they fill up a case then they go through that whole smell experience, maybe buy some jams and jellies, some fresh, or you know, some, uh, some luxury fruits, you know, in season. And their trunk is kind of half full before they've left 13th Street and they have so many things that they think about.
make sure to visit 13thstreetwinery.com and join our newsletter. Watch more videos, download complete stories, tasting notes, accolades, and buzzworthy news. And to order your favorite wines.